Took off the uh, eyelid and the headlight tint because these are getting sent out to California today overnighted because we're doing some custom headlights by Bay Optics. So just to show you guys what's going on, I got two boxes here for my tail lights. We're going to put the headlights in these lights and I'm going to overnight them tonight to Jeff, the owner of Bay Optics. And I picked out some headlights that we're gonna do super clean. Can't wait, man. I've never done custom headlights, but I figured this is uh, probably the right time to do it if I'm gonna do it. Dynamic is gonna be doing everything for me. Um, it's kind of funny because like I was gonna take the car over there to have the brake calipers powder coated, um, going white with them, which is a little bit different. And I, I just wanted to do something a little bit different than what other people were doing. And I saw a car, I saw an F80 M3 that had white calipers. It was a white car with black wheels, and it just it sold me on it. it Looks so good. So I'm going white with the calipers and I got some EBC brake pads. Uh, these are the red ones, I believe. Yeah, these are the red ceramic pads from Keys Motorsports. And then I also have stainless steel brake lines from Keys Motorsports as well. So I'll link all that stuff down below, but Keys, huge shout out to these guys for sending out the parts. Basically, it's funny because I was really originally just wanting to go into the shop and get the calipers done. I did want to powder coat these wheels all gloss black. So that was the original idea. And then that kind of turned into, well, we might as well install this stuff while we're doing that as well because the wheels would be off and it takes like four days for them to do all the powder coating on the brakes and the wheels. And then I was like, well, if the car's down for a couple days, why don't we just go ahead and do some custom headlights? <laughs> so this whole thing kind of just snowballed. Then I spoke with Jeff, the owner of Bay Optics and landed on just a really nice like OE plus style of headlights that I've always wanted to do custom headlights on my cars, but I just felt like if any of the cars deserve custom headlights, it's this one because literally that is like the only thing on this car that I don't love is like the headlights on it. So we're gonna take the car over to Dynamic right now. I'm gonna leave it there. They're gonna pull off the front bumper, pull out the headlights, and then I'm gonna come back, grab the headlights, ship them overnight to Jeff. And then in about a week or so, I'll come back and pick up the car and we should be good. The ceramic pads that we got are the EBC red ceramic pads from Keys Motorsports and they reduce a ton of brake dust. So like that was the one thing with this car, my wheels are always filthy dude, always filthy. Even with the ceramic coating, like they're just always dirty because this car produces so much brake dust. So I talked to Brian over at Keys and he was like, yo, you should go with these uh, EBC ceramic pads. We ended up doing that, and that should make a huge, huge difference. It should also help out with the braking. It's got a little bit more of a bite. These are more like street pads, uh, street performance pads. They're not really track pads. I'll probably get a separate set for track, but these are gonna be a good setup just for street driving and reducing some of that brake dust. Honestly, when I did the LCI taillights, I was like, man, now I need headlights. Like it was just a, it's a trickle effect. And it's funny with like this modification process. Like as soon as you do one thing, you get that bug and you just got to do everything else. It's just how the, the whole mod game works. We're pulling up to dynamic. Go ahead and drop the car off. I'm going to come back later, pick up the headlights, overnight them to Jeff over at Bay Optics. And then it's just a waiting game. All right, just pulled up to the shop. About to drop the whip off. So yeah, dude, these all black white it's just gonna crack right through there it's gonna look so good this headlights just look so outdated on this car 
especially once you do like the GTS hood and the lip and the splitter and all that. Headlights are just gonna bring it out. It's gonna look so good. Huge shout out to Dynamic, man. Those guys are looking out for me. Handling everything makes my life 10 times easier. So they're gonna take care of it. I'm gonna keep you guys posted along the way. curious about how much it costs to overnight headlights to California <laughs> ouch all right show you guys what I'm doing here don't know if you care about this at all but I'm making a splitter for the GTS lip so APR is gonna make me a custom carbon fiber splitter it comes out an inch all the way around this is the outline of my original lip and I'm gonna make it all the way around and then we're gonna bolt it underneath and then we're gonna put two marks to open slots so we can move the splitter up and down that way i can adjust the front hang on the actual splitter so it should be nice send this off to apr to get custom made and um should have it back in a few weeks it's gonna be sick another new day here we go. I don't even know what numbered day we're on with this whole video, but uh, the mods have just kind of been like snowballing since the car's in the shop. So this is my second trunk that I bought off of an F22 Alpine White from a junkyard. It is immaculate, in perfect condition. I paid $400 for it. The reason I did this is because I have a GTS carbon fiber wing on the way. And so I didn't want to drill into my stock trunk, I wanted to drill into this trunk. So this way I have two trunks and I can swap back and forth from having my trunk with the PSM spoiler and this one with the GTS wing. And that makes it really easy to just transition from different styles, different trunks, um, whenever I want to at ease. So we're gonna take this over to Dynamic today and I'm gonna install it on the car. The wing should be here in a couple of days. We're gonna go ahead and drill into this bad boy. So this thing is already ceramic coated. Lewis over at Sensational did a one step on it and coated it and it's literally, I mean, it is glass, dude. This thing is in such good condition. I can't believe I got it for as cheap as I got it. But the F22s have the same trunk as the M2s. So you can just buy one of those, rebadge it, and you're good to go. Got a brand new trunk badge right here. One thing to note with this trunk is that it doesn't have the backup camera. So I'm gonna have to swap the guts of the backup camera and I'm just gonna reuse the inside fabric piece that is on my stock trunk for this trunk. That should be easy enough. And then I'm also switching up the license plate frame on the current M2 trunk that's on the car right now. I have the dry carbon and I'm gonna go back to the gloss Keys Motorsports glossy carbon license plate frame. Sick. Another thing I wanna tell you guys quick about is I've had these variant Xenons and these were off of my E90 M3. Um, unfortunately, the rears are way too big to put on my M2. They're just, they poke out way too far. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the front of these and they're gonna go on the back of the M2 and then Variant is sending me a new set for the front of the M2 and I'm gonna have them painted all gloss black. So I'll have two extra <laughs> wheels that are just too large for anything. I'm actually thinking about taking the 19 by 11s that are too big to fit on the cars that I have and I'm gonna make a coffee table out of them and I'm gonna put a nice piece of glass on top and use it as a coffee table. I think it'd be dope. Anyway, so that's the situation with my second wheel setup. And then eventually down the line, I'm actually gonna do another set of wheels. They're gonna be a two pieced forged wheel. Those are gonna be more of a show wheel. These are gonna be track wheels because they're forged and they're super, super light. I love these wheels. If you guys are interested in buying a set of variant Xenons, I have a 20% discount code down below as well as a link. Hit that, save yourself some cash on some variants. Super dope wheels. Um, the other thing that we're doing today, I'm putting in the LED reverse lights in my LCI tail lights. I'm also ceramic coating my brake calipers and my OEM 437M wheels that were just repainted gloss black. So um, also you'll obviously you see that the calipers are now white. So I'm gonna ceramic coat everything at the shop while they're off the car. It's gonna make it 10 times easier. And I think that's it. So yeah, I'm gonna load all the stuff up that I need to take over to Dynamic, head over there and start working.
back of the shop. Just waiting on that APR splitter to come in. Car's here, but check it out, boys. We're all black. I finally ordered some new tires, too. Got some 4S's coming for the back. But yeah, went all black on these. It's amazing how much better these wheels look in all black. It just looks like a totally new wheel. Did a fantastic job. So I'm about to ceramic coat all the wheels and then check these out. Sheesh. These are gonna pop so hard, bro. So the way they do this is they paint them, obviously sand everything down and then paint them and then they put on the decal and then they clear coat over everything. So it's like legit factory finish. Looks so sick. Dude, these popping through those. Boys, this is the move. So I'm about to ceramic coat everything. You guys know the deal. It's the stuff I use. Link it down below. You can watch this little process. I'm gonna get back to this, but basically we're gonna do two coats on each wheel. Coat the front, flip it over, coat the barrels, let it cure, level it out, coat it, same deal, over and over again to all four. Then I'll show you guys when I do the brakes. Got them all coated. Look at how glossy these look. You coat them and they just go real, real deep, deep black. Look insane, looking good. Now I'm gonna hit these up, same way I did the wheels, alcohol bath them, then use the old C quartz ceramic coating. Same deal, I'm gonna let it cure, I'm gonna do two coats, put the first one on, let it cure, and then go ahead and lay another one on. God, these look sick. Another day at the shop, these guys are doing the stainless steel brake lines and the EVC pads. See the brake lines right here. Got the EVC red stuff right here. And the new calipers, obviously. You can see the stainless steel line running back here. That's such a nice setup.
last day. Secured the bags. Headlights. Yeah, he's got that E46 that thing's on the ground. Uh, I'm about to put you guys down, time lapse, install the Bay Optics headlights. It's gonna be sick. About two hours in, got everything hooked up, all the bolts and everything, and then ran the harnesses back there through the cowl. They look great though, can't wait to show you. I'm gonna go ahead and put the front bumper on and we'll re-update you. This I have been waiting for for a long time. <laughs> it feels so good. It feels so good to be back in my car. All right, man, let's get out and chat. Sheesh. <laughs> this thing is just mental. Full on race car mode. Yeah, um, safe to say these headlights worked out great. Huge shout out to Bay Optics. They did an incredible job on these headlights. So basically what they did was they blacked them out and then obviously added the new hexagon LEDs. But um, these look absolutely incredible, man. Like, so I opted for the switchback to stay white all the time, but you can option that to change yellow when your blinkers turn on. The cool thing is with this specific headlight that I chose, I can actually still have the switchbacks turn yellow if I want to. It's actually a yellow wire in the back of the housing assembly that I just connect. And then I have the capabilities of having that switchback turn yellow when the turn signals blink. So what they did for mine, obviously, I just wanted to keep it as clean as possible. We just blacked out everything and then added all of the LEDs. And then I have a black LED amber turn signal. So all that blinks right now when my turn signals are on are this turn signal in yellow, LED, and then obviously my mirror. It just looks super clean, man. Like it's just the way to go with these headlights. The front end of this car just looks super outdated with the old headlights and now that I have these in, I'm, I'm good. It's perfect. It's exactly the way that I envisioned this car to turn out. Now we just have to wait for that APR splitter to get in and I'm pretty much done with the exterior. Like this car is dialed. Um, I love the way that it sits. I love the way that it looks. Everything about it is just like perfection. Huge shout out to the guys at Dynamic, obviously, for doing the wheels, powder coated all black, which I think is just the move with these wheels, man. Like these wheels are just so sexy to me. The 437M wheels are probably my favorite OEM BMW wheels they make. And in all black, they just look so good. The two-tone just wasn't working on this car. I'm just not a big fan of the chrome. So the white calipers um, is not a very popular color. I don't think a lot of people do white, but I think the white on this car just looks absolutely incredible. They did such a good job with these, with these calipers, and I feel like the white just cracks through that black so well. Like I said before, I didn't want to do some crazy color. I just think this is such a clean, clean option to have all black wheels and then your white calipers coming through. Very, very impressed by the job they did. It's very, very solid. So, like I said, we have the APR splitter coming in in about a week or so, and that'll just add about an inch around the circumference of my lip of carbon fiber, and it'll be adjustable. So I can have it come out further, I can put it further back in, whatever I wanna do. Um, I did get new tires for the back and Tread Connection is our local mobile tire guy. He's coming in tomorrow to go ahead and put on the Michelins on the back. Um, I actually have six tires. I found them all used, but barely used. Six Michelins at home, Super Sports. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on the back. What are these Federals? These Federals are just terrible. And then obviously moving to the back, you guys, M4 GTS wing. Um, yeah, man, it's just full on track. Like this thing just looks so track style right now. And I, I'm really, really in love with this, just like the track style build. It's just kind of the phase I'm in right now with this car. 
And the great part about this is I can switch back and forth. Like you're gonna see this build go from the PSM spoiler trunk to this one. I have two trunks and it's so easy to just swap them. So I wasn't really worried about, you know, deforming this trunk at all or worrying about drilling into it because I have two trunks. That was the purpose of this trunk was literally to buy it and put a wing on it. So huge shout out to Souvenir. They, they make this wing and I'm gonna link it down below. I don't know if they have any in stock yet. I was kind of like the first person to get it, but it is a replica of the OEM M4 GTS wing. It is carbon fiber, obviously, all the way through. It has this like gunmetal anodized silver down here. And I was actually going to paint those black, but now that I see the wing on the car with this, this dark, dark gunmetal silver, it looks so good. It looks so raw and so track oriented. I just love it. And this wing is 100% functional. It's not just looks like this wing is 100% functional. It creates so much downforce and keeps the back of the car just absolutely smacked on the ground. And that is exactly what I want when I am tracking this car. It's also adjustable as you can see here. You can pick which height you wanna do. As far as the install, it wasn't too difficult. So I installed the headlights and I installed the wing. And then obviously Dynamic did the calipers for me, uh, the paint and all that, and then they did my new pads. The wing um, was interesting. It was my first time ever doing a wing on a car and actually doing it like the correct way. And obviously you have to go ahead and tape up the whole trunk and then you have to measure. But the big part about the M2 trunk is, this wing is meant for a, an M4, which has a longer trunk. I believe it has a longer trunk. and. This trunk has a little bit more of a slope to it. I personally wanted this wing to be positioned a little bit far back, not too far back where I could still run a trunk lip spoiler if I wanted to with this. And I can show you guys the options of that. It doesn't look too bad, but I prefer this look right now. But what I did was I used adhesive foam underneath the brackets, underneath the mounting brackets on the wing, and then obviously drilled through and I have two screws. All of the screws have Loctite on them. And then also we use washers and mounting brackets. So I actually made some mounting brackets that go on the bottom of the trunk and hold those screws into place just so the whole thing is structurally sound. I think in the future I might actually end up building an entire mounting bracket that goes all the way across the entire wing and mounts underneath just to make sure that nothing goes anywhere. It's good for right now, but we'll see how it holds up at the track and kind of move from there. But yeah, man, this car just right now, I mean, it's a presence. Like this whole thing has a crazy, crazy presence to it. And it's, uh, it looks really good. There's a lot of different style wings that they offer out there. And I feel like the M4 GTS wing is like the perfect medium. It's not too high, it's not too low, it's not too aggressive, it doesn't hang out too far back. It's fully adjustable, it's carbon. Like it just looks so good on this body style of car. So for the people who aren't into the wing, that's totally fine. I really, really dig it. Obviously this is my build, so I'm gonna do what I want, but I really, really dig this wing for a track style setup. And I will be switching back and forth between the PSM style trunk and then obviously my wing style trunk. This will be more oriented for track days, which are coming up. We actually have the track. We got word that the track is opening up at the end of the month. So that means that I am going to start tracking my car. So let's talk a little bit about the brake work that was done. Huge shout out to Keys Motorsport um, they got me the Good Ridge stainless steel brake lines and then they got me the EBC red brake pads. So these EBC red pads are ceramic and what that does is it reduces the amount of brake dust that you're going to get on your wheels, which is perfect. It's exactly what I want, especially with black wheels and the bite is really solid. So in the beginning you will notice there's a little bit of squeal with these pads because you have to bed them in properly. A lot of people don't bed brakes in properly. When you have race pads, you have to bed them in. So what does that mean? For the first hundred miles, you have to lightly, lightly brake. So like 30, 40 miles an hour braking, just very, very, very light. And then for the next 250 miles, it's medium braking. So it's a little bit harder. And then from there on out, you're able to just brake as you wish, super hard. A lot of people, they get into their cars when they get new brake pads and they just start braking super hard right away. You do not want to do that. You have to bed in these brakes properly or they will create issues down the line and improper wear, especially to your rotors. So eventually I will end up replacing the rotors as well. Um, probably just stick with OEM. I don't really see a need to change those out. I also increased the front spacers to 12 and a half millimeter. I was running 10 before. I went a little bit wider and 12 and a half is literally perfect. So if you guys have an M2, the way to run these wheels, the stock ones, the 430s, 37 M's on an M2, 12 and a half millimeters in the front, 10 in the back, and it's flush. Like it's perfect. There's no rubbing, and the wheel sits absolutely flush with the fenders. 
So the headlights with Bay Optics took a couple of weeks, which, you know, with everything going on in the world right now is, is pretty fast, all things considered. It's very difficult to get parts right now, especially with the pandemic going on. So shout out to those guys. Not only did we do the headlights, but in addition to the headlights, they also threw on brand new OEM lenses. So I have brand new lenses. I'm gonna go get these PPF'd by Sensational tomorrow. So they're protected. I never have to worry about it. Obviously at the track, you're gonna get a lot of rocks coming up. But man, I'm so happy and so stoked with how this thing has turned out. I mean, you guys, it just looks insane. Like it looks absolutely insane. When I started building this car, this is like beyond what I can imagine. It's just, it's beyond what I had imagined in my head. It just looks so sick. It looks so sick. And the front end was just really slacking for me. Like the headlights just weren't doing it, the OEM ones. And if I had the LCI ones, it would be probably a different story. I don't even know if I would have done these, but with the pre-LCI, man, this is the way to go. <laughs> it looks so good. So I'll turn on the blinkers right now to show you guys what the turn signals look like. There you go. Just a very subtle amber LED. And it's all blacked out. Even the LED is blacked out. So everything is very, very sleek. I mean, this is like so stealth. The front end of this car is so stealth right now. It's so sick. So I'll make sure I leave links down below you guys for everything. The wing, the headlights through Bay Optics, all of the stuff that we added on this car, the brakes, the stainless steel brake lines, Dynamics information. If you guys are local in Charlotte, make sure you hit up Dynamic. I mean, I just dropped the car off and they handled all the stuff that I needed for me, all the painting, the brake work. They did it all for me. So it made my life a ton easier. I have so much going on right now that it just made my life so much easier that they could just handle all that. I could come in, put the car back together, pick up my stuff and move on. All right, you guys, so I think that about covers everything. Next up, we're gonna be working on the interior. I'm pretty much done with my exterior, aside from my APR splitter that's coming in. I, I love the way this car looks, and I really don't wanna do anything else to it. I think it's perfect. So the next few things that I'm gonna be working on, obviously, is the interior. I want to do the M Performance steering wheel, the digital race display, and then in addition to that, we're gonna be doing seats. Seats will be a big one for this car, and then I will do a half roll cage, and I will also be doing a rear seat delete but not only just a rear seat delete I'm gonna be buying a custom-made cover for the back seats so it's clean so it's not just like an open hole to your trunk it's gonna be a custom-made cover for the back seat that is fit for this car so all of that stuff together will pretty much wrap up the interior and then at that point we're gonna be moving back into performance I'm doing a custom tune by Jordan tuning uh, boot mode he's actually with boot mode it's called Jordan tune so Jordan and I are gonna be working on this car together. He's gonna to be tuning it. I'm gonna be going to the dyno. We're gonna be doing a bunch of dyno sessions at CES and then also doing a bunch of tuning sessions at CES with Jordan remotely. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for that ride, show you all the numbers. We're gonna be getting back into the performance side of things heavy. And then from there on out, it's gonna be nothing but like track content. We have so much track stuff coming up. I'm gonna be doing different pads for the track, different wheels for the track, different tires for the track. It's going to be fun, man. This uh, this whole journey with this M2 is getting pretty insane right now. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who's involved in this. Dynamic, Keys Motorsports, Bay Optics, Souvenir, all those guys absolutely killed it. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification. And just like that, this video is over and we're out. Peace.